Welcome back to another great adventure with members of the Florida Power Boat Club and continuing coverage of the epic 2018 Key West Offshore Poker Run. And we are now in episode number eight with the feature coverage of this signature Florida Power Boat Club event. When we left off on our last episode, we were in the Poker Run Village. We had completed two days of boating and the Poker Run party was starting at the Conquer Public Seafood Company with our Key West Body Painting Expo on Thursday evening, which has been a big hit on the event for three years running. So before we kick things off with our next episode, let's thank our sponsors. First of all, our presenting sponsor, Mercury Racing, uh, back once again to support us on this event, and our grand prize sponsor, Off Lease Only, with a brand new Chevy Silverado pickup as grand prize for the event. Well, if you've done Key West before, everyone knows that Friday is a big racing day, and we're not here to cover racing because we got told by a lawyer that we cannot film the superboat races. Uh, apparently, that's a no-no. So guess what, guys? No superboat racing in our videos, but that's okay. We're here for the poker run. I know that a lot of our members have gone out to watch the races on their boats. Some of them are scattered along the shoreline to watch the races. And I know the rest of you are doing the Duval Crawl right about now. But no matter what happens all day Friday, we all end up at the Poker Run Village here at the Concord Public Seafood Company. And it's a big night, our second night in town now. It's Sponsor Appreciation Night. And that's when we thank all of our sponsors for all the support that they give us on this event because you know there's no way that we could stage such an epic, such a signature Key West Poker Run without the support of these manufacturing and industry sponsors. There were over 30 sponsors on our Key West Poker Run masthead and close to half of them had displays in the Poker Run Village. Whether they were in the water with boat displays or whether they were on land between the power boats, the trailers, the engines, the marine parts, and even some exotic cars, there was something for everyone here at the Key West Poker Run Village. We got a chance to catch up with some of our sponsors and see what they had on display. Well, Broward Trailer is a manufacturer of trailers uh, for high performance boats. We build trailers anywhere in the length from 30 feet on up to over 60, uh, up to over 30,000 GBWR. Uh, we build for all kind of high performance boats, center consoles, uh, it's all high quality welded trailers, uh, painted, aluminum, steel. Whatever you want. I am McLaren Boston, and uh, we're here. You know, I used to race down here for years and years and years. Won the championship in 2003, so we're back down here having just a good old time and doing some poker running and you know selling some cars and, and enjoying ourselves. It's a very rare car. That's uh, there's only 22 deals in the whole United States, so um, we just wanted to show the people that, that the cars that we have and display them. And there's been a lot of interest in it, and a lot of different people are coming to, to check out the cars to uh, maybe hopefully one day purchase one. I have a 388 skater that we uh, came down in. We did the poker run with Stu yesterday. Had a great time. It was perfect weather. Awesome, awesome, fun day. These are all McLaren's models. They start. There's a black one over there. It's a 570 Spider, uh, 720, which is our top of the line right now. Um, 650 Spider, which means all the Spider means is that they're convertibles. Uh, 570 convertible, another 720 right over there. That's a one of one. It's the only color green in the world. And as the night fell and uh, soon after happy hour, that's when the action really started to begin here at the Poker Run Village. That's when the bartenders moved their displays outside. The ladies get all their apparel out again. The girls put on their bikini tops and there is a lot of action about to begin because we have got to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support of this big event. Of course, I would never try to do this all on my own. So I have this incredible staff of FPC girls to help me with the awards for our amazing sponsors. With dozens of Mercury racing motors on display, both in water and on land, it's pretty obvious that we need to pay a visit to our friends at Mercury Racing and thank them for their continued support. Steve Miller was on hand along with Scott Rykow on the far right uh, to accept the Mercury Racing Sponsor Appreciation Award. And it had special meaning this year because not only have Mercury supported us all these years, but 2018 was a very special year because of the Project 1080 where we had received from Mercury Racing a pair of Mercury Racing 540 stern drives with ITS Bravo XR1 drives. And we also got a chance to wander over to the Mercury mobile display and met the new Mercury Racing president, Stuart Halley, uh, who had a lot to say about their support for the Florida Powerboat Club. And of course, we chatted about Project 1080. And above all, I would say that that reinforces and illustrates Mercury's uh, continued commitment 
to the sport of poker runs and certainly to the Florida Powerboat Club. Uh, in a way, it recognizes how hard we work to keep the sport exciting and interesting. And, uh, you know, I think that above all, they see that we have done everything we can to perpetuate the boating lifestyle. So thanks so much to Mercury Racing for being here to support us here in Key West. And it's an appropriate segue to visit now with Skip Raver, owner and president of Cigarette Racing in Miami, uh, right here in front of the Project 1080 38 cigarette, which Skip uh, helped out a lot on this. From that cigarette logo, all the stitching and embroidery to the actual bolster seats uh, that we installed and a lot of the knickknacks and hardware that are hard to find. Uh, Skip let uh, Bud work with me closely and we were able to get this boat dialed in with a lot of original cigarette equipment straight from the factory. But enough about Project 1080, which is a 20-year-old cigarette top gun. It goes without saying that cigarettes' continued involvement in the sport and with the club uh, illustrates really their commitment too to Florida Powerboat Club and also to you guys out there because they have continued to build an incredible line introducing new models like these 39 and 41 foot center consoles which look amazing and run fantastic with mercury racing verado power so thank you to skip raver and cigarette for your continued involvement here with this event and with the florida power book club and for another big introduction on our sponsor appreciation night we were happy to have iconic marine join us once again this time representing both the fountain and the donzi brand the iconic marine president joe curran who is now the late joe curran uh, we sadly lost him soon after the miami boat show uh, this was his final appearance on a florida powerboat club event and he is sadly missed by so many of us a hard-working guy in the marine industry it's a great loss to all of us the uh, new 39 here we've got the new cat and I'd like to announce here with you, Stu, we have a new 40-foot cat coming out. It's going to be on the Zanzi name. All right, it grew. It's 44. It's 44. It's going to be a quad, a quad outboard. It's going to be a fully carbon boat. We're working in conjunction with uh, the Wilsons. And uh, we're looking forward to bringing that boat out. It's going to be hot. So once again, thank you very much to Iconic Marine Group. Uh, it's a very sad farewell to Joe Curran, uh, but I did visit with Joe and Billy Moore at the Miami show, and these are the two boats that Joe was referring to, the brand new Donzi Catamaran powered by four Mercury Racing 400s. And right along next door was the brand new Donzi GT, uh, 41 GT that is, this one with triple 400s. Uh, and what a beautiful boat. I love the cockpit, the layout. Uh, they had one in Key West with twins, but this one had triples, so she's going to have a little more giddy up. Uh, and I don't think that you're going to find a better layout for a day boat ever. Uh, still a lot of speed and comfort, uh, but look at the styling of this interior. We love being here. We're going to be here bigger and better every year. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Iconic Marine Group. Fountain Gonzi Baja. Lots of good stuff coming out and excited to see what's going to happen in Miami 2019. But thanks for being here. And moving along with our sponsor, Appreciation Night, of course, OffLeaseOnly.com with this 2018 Chevy Silverado pickup. It's going to be the grand prize for the best poker hand. And if you don't like the pickup truck, you can take $25,000 and go towards any other vehicle of your choice. They've got over 5000 in stock. Same people, Mark and Eileen Fisher, that own Deep Impact Boats and Blackwater Boats. A few highlights here from the Saturday run when they put a rendezvous together for all of their owners. So once again, thank you so much to Mark and Eileen Fisher for their continued support of the Florida Powerboat Club. And they've got the whole family here with them to pick up all these awards. And there's always time for a big shout out to Scott Price and his group from Harden Marine who have been here year after year with this incredible display. And they have got all of the bling that you can imagine from the tabs to the steering wheels to the engine parts, exhaust manifolds, headers, carburetors, every performance improvement part that you can think of and every instrument to measure your engine's performance we're all here at Harden Marine. And special thanks also to Marine Unlimited, uh, their first time as a sponsor on this event. Bernie Newhouse accepting the award here. And of course, he works closely with Doug Falcone, uh, who owns this brand new 42-foot Mystic, uh, powered by Mercury Racing Verados. Here she is on the Poker Run course just a day earlier. Quad Mercury 400s, a beautiful paint job. All of the styling and all of the bling that you could possibly ask for. They really did this boat up nicely. And I know there's plenty more Mystics on order. So if you like that brand, stay tuned. With Marine Unlimited, they've got a full inventory. 
And of course, we want to thank Nortec High Performance Boats from Cape Coral and North Fort Myers. Uh, representing them here is Dean Albanese. He's actually uh, with the dealer, Self Flow Boats, who have a boat here on display. And they put on a great show with altogether over 30 boats represented here on the run. And uh, that won them the Manufacturer's Cup, an award that they've won many times before. But this time, with over 30 boats, they set an all-time record. Thanks to Tron Scow, Niels Johnson, Henrik Margard, and all the team at Nortec for their tremendous support of this event and uh, 25 years of working closely with this brand. It's been a wild ride all the way, and it just keeps getting better because I know that they have more in store for us for 2019 and years to come. We also would like to recognize our venue host, the Concord Public Seafood Company, uh, who have been just gracious and rolling out the red carpet to us every year. Their staff treat us like family. The food is fantastic. The drinks are strong. And the energy level here is absolutely electrifying for four continuous days here at our Poker Run Village headquarters. It really doesn't get much better than this. And this is one of the reasons why we have had such a successful event year after year is because of the ambiance and the, the vibe that you get just by hanging out here at the Concord Public Seafood Company. Teamwork. teamwork that we've had here for, did you know that this is our 20th anniversary? We started here in 1999. This is our 20th anniversary of being here with you guys. Do you believe that? <laughs> Well, we just told you how important a great venue is for the success of an event, and a great staging venue in Hallover Marine Center is exactly what we have. John Lewis here to accept the Sponsor Appreciation Award for their continued support as the ideal staging facility in North Miami, Sunny Isles. It's a huge place. The boat ramps are right across the way, but they have got big forklifts and a lot of storage space, and most of all, really first-class service to take care of all of our club members as we launch for this epic Poker Run event. And of course, special thanks to Mark Wilson and the Wilson family for their continued support here at the Poker Run Village. And the girls stopped by the Outer Limits booth, but it was uh, late and it looked like the staff had gone out for drinks on Duval Street. Uh, but we do want to recognize them as a continuing sponsor of the Key West Offshore Poker Run. And it was one year ago now today, one year ago that we lost Joe Scro in that terrible accident in Marathon. Uh, during the Key West Poker Run. So we will always remember Joe and his contribution to the sport, both offshore powerboat racing and, of course, the poker runs as being very highly involved in the Outer Limits brand for so many years. These images that we're seeing now are from exactly a year ago when we did a memorial run for Joe with these Outer Limits boats on Saturday uh, just off the south end of Key West. And we are now recognizing Superior Communications' David TV from Annapolis, Maryland, and his continuing support and major contributions to the Florida Powerboat Club for many, many years. He's been in the club for, oh, probably since about 02 or 01, so 17 or 18 years. He has never missed the Key West Poker Run, and every year he has sponsored and made tremendous donations in the form of Garmin chart plotters, ICOM radios, Garmin verb cameras, you name it. And more recently with his support of the Project 1080 38 cigarette with more than $10,000 in marine electronics that were donated to the cause, uh, David's support has just been over the top. And we thank him and all of the people at Superior Communications for their continued support of the club. And one final money shot for all you guys uh, of our FPC girls. By the way, there's a historic cigarette right behind them, which you can't even see. But the really great news is that next year we're going to double the footprint of the Key West Poker Run Village. So if you're interested in doing a display here, you give me a call and I'll share the details with you. Saturday morning and we awoke to a beautiful day here as we fly over the historic seaport. A good look here at our Poker Run headquarters at the Conquer Public Seafood Company. And you can see that there's a lot of people starting to crowd around on the boats and it's time to get out for a fun run, play around. Uh, a lot of stuff on the agenda today because we've got some manufacturer rendezvous and we've got Gary and Nancy Robertson out in their 527 Nortec. It's their first poker run after purchasing it from Mark and Eileen Fisher. Obviously this is a boat we've all seen on the Key West run many times and what a beautiful ride she is. Say hi now to Shane and Amy Mulkey from Louisiana and this big 44-foot skater, Team Fast Money. 
uh, just getting on the throttles and uh, starting to shoot out that big rooster tail. Uh, twice a year, Emerald Coast and Key West, good to have you guys back. And now from camera number two, which is on board Jim Lee's uh, Christina, that is Hatteras Motor Yacht that is loaded with a big party today. But looking out here towards the ocean waters as we are getting ramped up for our aerial photo shoots today, flying with our pilot Lewis from Miami Executive Helicopters. And still really not a lot of activity out here in the harbor. You can see there's still a lot of boats here at berth in the historic seaport. Uh, that's a nice shot of the seaport at that. But what we've got going on here this morning on a little bit earlier on the agenda is the Deep Impact and Blackwater Owners Rendezvous. It's the first time we've done this uh, in conjunction with the Key West event. And it's a little earlier in the morning. It's about uh, maybe 11, 30, 12. We had set this up uh, with Mark Fisher and Eileen, and here they are in the, the most recent, probably this is the most recent 399 Deep Impact to come out of the factory. Uh, I think they got it sold right after the Key West Poker Run. Great colors, beautiful boat. But the plan today is to get all of these uh, Deep Impact and Blackwater boats uh, out for a little ride and get some nice photo and video uh, in the harbor here as we head out into the south side of Key West. And they're going to cruise uh, around in the ocean waters and then we're gonna end up at Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina. Now that's the old uh, ocean side marina. If you all remember, it was a big sort of dry storage marina uh, and they had condos in there. Well, a developer came in and pretty much leveled the whole place and built a beautiful resort, nice uh, restaurant called the Yellowfin Bar and Grill. So that's the plan today. Uh, getting a great shot of this 399 Deep Impact uh, powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. It's the first one that they've done in the silver with the blue accents. I really like it. And now getting some shots of this other uh, newly built Deep Impact 399, another one that was just done, I would say just weeks before the Key West Poker Run. Uh, silver with the orange accents. Uh, I believe it's a Stephen Miles paint job. I think he did a wonderful job. Uh, this one powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. A nicely laid out boat. Of course, it's a cabin boat. You can see uh, we don't see that many of these. I know that you're going to see one in a minute. Jason Parker has his here. But they build a lot of these in the open uh, sport mode, which doesn't have the cabin. I think Mark told me once that uh, this adds about you know 1,800, maybe 2,000 pounds to the boat. Uh, and it does change the ride attitude of the model. Uh, but you can see it still runs great. Plenty of room for all your friends. Nice to have that air-conditioned cabin down below. And now we've got the entire group uh, milling around uh, down off a of plane uh, just to get everybody into some kind of a formation. Uh, it doesn't always go that well. If you plan things, you kind of got to map them out the night before or when you're on the dock. But this kind of came together okay. I think everyone understood what we were trying to accomplish. And uh, with Mark in the lead boat and me up in the helicopter trying to orchestrate things, we managed to pull off some sort of a formation here that it ain't exactly the Blue Angels, but it's pretty darn good. <laughs> and uh, remember, now we're just off the southern tip of Key West. We're going to start heading northbound. You know, the idea was to get as far away from Key West Harbor as we could so that people would just kind of leave us alone, let, let us do our thing. But naturally, some other people spot the chopper, and before you know it, you've got some party crashers <laughs> that aren't even a part of the deal. But uh, what the heck, we're having fun. So we can see that uh, all of the front runners are Deep Impact 399s. Two of them are cabin versions. And I can just barely see in the background there that Blackwater 43 is making his way up to the front of the pack. Uh, that's going to be the quad powered, quad 400, Blackwater 43, I think Ron McLean in that boat. Uh, but this was just a casual little thing that uh, we decided to put together uh, with Deep Impact for their owners. I think it's going to be something much bigger in 2019 because we've got a lot more people owning these boats now. Uh, but it was a nice gesture on the part of Deep Impact because uh, they organized a really nice lunch for everybody over at Ocean's Edge at the uh, Yellowfin Bar and Grill. And that's the plan for them today. Meanwhile, the rest of the boats are just slowly starting to come to life in the Key West Harbor. And we've got about uh, two and a half hours of helicopter time booked today. So plenty of time to get out and enjoy the sun, enjoy the fantastic weather. Look at how calm the seas are. You know, this is uh, in the middle of November. Typically can be very rough and uh, choppy over on this side of the island. Uh, but looks like we're going to have great conditions today. And that means that the raft up is going to be really great out at Woman Key also. So as we can see from these great aerial images, uh, I think it's fair to score these guys a good 9 out of 10 for showmanship. 
uh, putting together this nice little owner's rally. Uh, I think the shots are great and everyone kept their speed uh, contained. And uh, thanks, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy your lunch over at the Yellowfin Bar and Grill. So the rest of the morning is going to be dedicated to catching up with all of these different boats, starting with Donald Patterson from Florida and team Let's Hook Up, 38-foot fountain center console. And uh, he actually was uh, lucky enough to get a spot right there at the Conquer Public Seafood sponsor dock. And uh, we made that happen because it was a late model 38 and Fountain had come on as a sponsor. Uh, so that was a natural, worked out great. And then again, we saw Don more recently on the Tampa Bay Poker Run. So Don, we hope you can come back uh, for Key West 2019. We'd love to have you. And now catching up with Jesse and Stephanie Newman, one of over 30 registered Nortex on this Key West Offshore Poker Run. Team No Agenda, a 39-foot Nortex, 390 center console, powered by triple Mercury 400Rs. They said in their video bio that they always have a great time when they head for the Florida Keys. And um, they did remind us that they do have a new Nortex coming. And I can validate that because they had ordered a 450 center console, same exact colors, and they were gonna take delivery during the Miami Boat Show, which is yeah, about three months from now, according to Key West time, uh, which they did because they managed to attend the Miami Boat Show poker run thereafter, and it is just a beautiful ride. Uh, they said that they enjoyed taking the boat to the Bahamas as well, and as a matter of fact, I follow them on Facebook and Instagram, and they send back some pictures from the Bahamas that are absolutely incredible. Uh, he's got a drone that he flies frequently, so some of these shots from the Exumas were just unbelievable. And uh, one time I just hope to follow them around because he knows where all the good places are, that's for sure. What do they love about power boating? They love the water, the freedom, and the beauty of nature. And one of our registered safety boats for the run, uh, but he's off safety duty now, Ron Levy from South Florida, 32-foot concept called Team Green Card. Uh, he helped us out on Thursday with uh, Safety Patrol. Had a couple of medics on board, uh, but today he's just out playing around, got his friends with him and headed for the party at Woman Key. Now let's say hi to Forrest Riddle all the way from Virginia in Team Like Gump, 43-foot Nortec Super V, uh, 2,000 horsepower altogether, number six drives. And this is a boat that was very popular back, oh, 10, 15 years ago from, you know, like, 03 through about uh, 2011, 2012. For about 10 years, this was a very popular model. And uh, it's just a great running boat, no question about it. But enough about the boat. Um, did I see a bikini top flying in the air there? I believe that's what that is. I thought that was a boat full of dudes, but there is one lovely lady on board and she decided to steal a little bit of helicopter time from everybody else by getting in the spirit. And we applaud you for that, young lady. Thank you very much. And now catching up with Danny DeSantis, or at least we're gonna try to catch up with him. One very fast skater, 388 throwing a big ass rooster tail. Danny DeSantis who gave us a little show earlier uh, with his display at the Poker Run Village. All those McLarens on display from McLaren of Boston, uh, one of 22 dealers nationwide. See Danny, I paid attention when I listened to your interview. Uh, but this skater is powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. It's a great looking ride. Uh, they're having fun today, getting some fresh air and heading out to Woman Key. And a gentleman who needs no introduction, but I will anyway, Andrew Rocco from New Hampshire, uh, Team Time Conscious. Uh, this Midnight Express is a borrowed ride because Fast Boats Marine Group is building him a statement. It's not ready yet. So this was the loner boat for the poker run. I had a chance to join him on the Wednesday departure for a ride to Grove Harbor. And now we're catching up with Max Zeldich in this 36-foot cigarette gladiator, Team Superbad. 
uh, altogether about uh, 26 or 27, I lost count, uh, cigarettes on the run. Didn't quite win them the Manufacturer's Award. That went to Nortec. But that didn't stop these cigarette owners from putting on a great show. I love the graphics on this boat. That's super silver, real shiny, with the graphics uh, super bad down the side. Uh, a great kind of a sport boat, really, if you want to have a cigarette and feel like you're in a sports car, this is the way to go. It's the smallest cockpit of any cigarette manufactured. It is a sit-down boat. So when you're in this boat with the throttles pushed down, you really feel everything and you feel like you're going for a wild ride. Let's welcome back Jerry and Shamin Banish, uh, who have a home in Key Largo and also from Michigan. Uh, Michigan's for their cigarette, their 39 Top Gun, and uh, Key Largo is for their 34 Nortec. And what they said about the Nortec is they get to bring more friends. They've got eight on board all together as they make it back for their second time here in Key West. What do they love about boating? Well, Jerry says when he's on the boat, it allows him to relax, and that's the only way he can relax, so that's why they love boating and attending poker rooms. Let's welcome back David and Leanne Branton, who have been veterans on this event and with the club for over 20 years. Uh, and now they're in a 40-foot Invincible Cat, uh, one of the newer models from Invincible built in Miami. The other boat on the run is their skater. We're going to look at that here real shortly. But check this boat out. It is a beast. It's huge. Got a big beam, four Mercury Racing 400s, and plenty of room for all your friends. As for that boat name, Team Mafaka, that's an island in Greece that they often like to visit. And I just want to shamelessly plug our next event. David and Leanne Branton do have a second home in Orange Beach, Alabama, and they're going to be joining us there for the upcoming Orange Beach Powerboat Week, May 29th to June 2nd. So we look forward to seeing them at Orange Beach, Alabama. Now let's welcome Abe Abramson, who is from Norway, but has a home in South Florida now, Lighthouse Point to be exact, but most of his crew came across the Atlantic Ocean to join us here for this great event. They had a lot of fun in this 52 foot MTI, which is powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And what he said, what he likes about his boat is the wraparound windshield, because you can still sit in the cockpit and have a conversation and not get blown out of the boat at 130 mile an hour cruise. And I would like to thank Abe for his kind words in his video bio. He says he loves power boating so much that he appreciates all the hard work that we have put into this event after 26 years, and he'd love to see it go for another 26. Well, Abe, maybe I got five or six, maybe not 26, but I'm here for you, buddy. Well, one thing you can be sure of on the Key West Poker Run, we've got big cats and we've got small cats. We've got white cats, and now we have orange cats. This 29 DCB, Mike and Maggie Sands. Well, actually, Mike and Mike Jr., because I don't think Maggie will ever get on this little DCB cat. Twin Mercury Racing 400s. It's basically getting on a, in a go-kart on the water, if you know, if you can imagine what it's like. But they say it rides great. It's the first one that they've owned. Uh, they picked the boat up from Michigan from uh, Mike Knobloch, and they say it's just a fantastic ride. And after over 20 years in the club, they continue to have some good father and son time on these poker runs. And another big cat from the skater family and strong representation here from skaters. I think about 24 of them registered altogether. Uh, Shane and Amy Malky from Louisiana. It's not their first rodeo with the club. They have done a number of, of events in this boat, and it seems to me like they're locked in, enjoying every August the Emerald Coast Poker Run, and then uh, coming and joining us down south here in November to join us for the Key West Run. Love this boat. I love the colors, the way it runs. The Twin Mercury Racing 1350s. It really doesn't get much better than this. Just love this skater. Enjoying the calm open waters as we head out to Woman Key. 
as we cross over Josh and Terry Ann Pierce all the way from Kansas. I'd like to see these uh, groups coming from the Midwest to join us. It's a long ways to trailer, about 1,500 miles each way. But we want to thank them for their loyalty to come all that way to join us here. Altogether, 18 fountains registered on the Key West Poker Run. Six of them are 42-foot lightnings. Uh, so obviously that's a very popular model and and it's really one that has stood the test of time this one's powered by mercury racing or really mercruiser 500s so a thousand horsepower total this boat runs great with its step bottom you don't need a lot of power to go fast in this fountain a big applause to all of this crew for wearing their life jackets you guys are looking good doing it right and we appreciate that you have no idea how much that means to me and i'm giving you a high five right now so at this point, we are about halfway through our aerial assignment here as we head out on this beautiful Saturday in Key West uh, as we plan for the big raft up party at Woman Key. One of the best that we've had on record since we started doing this event. Uh, so we are going to take this time to thank everyone for joining us on the Key West Poker Run. And the good news is that there's still one more episode to come. And here's a sneak peek of some of the highlights from the party at Woman Key which then segued into the late afternoon as we all arrived back into Key West Harbor and planned that big final Saturday night party at the Conk Republic Seafood Company where we played out our poker cards and had a wonderful dinner at the Conk Republic, a record attendance, over 880 people in attendance at that party through the course of the evening, an all-time record for the Key West Poker Run. But as the cards were played out, of course, we were able to award those grand prizes, including that off-lease only 2018 Chevy Silverado pickup. We're not gonna tell you who won it yet. We're gonna save that for the next episode, but we're gonna thank you guys for watching and thank our sponsors, including Mercury Racing, our presenting sponsor, and off-lease only, our grand prize sponsor with that Chevy Silverado truck. And of course, the many sponsors who joined us and all of the participants from around the globe. You guys are the reason that this event and this club keeps going year after year. So thank you for watching. Be sure to join us on our next episode. Remember to subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. It's called Florida Powerboat Club. Click the notification bell so that you get notifications about every show that gets released. And also follow us on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, and check out the website at flpowerboat.com for information about membership and all of the upcoming poker runs. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. Guys, keep it safe out there. Remember, always wear your life jackets. See you next time.